What's your favorite pitch to hit? Tell me. Fastball. Fastball. Absolutely. Yes, sir. What you got? Fastball. Fastball. Inside? Yeah? Anybody like a fastball away? You? Okay. Okay. Good deal. Yes, fastball is the pitch I'm always trying to hit. How many of you would say that in every at bat you've ever had, you saw at least one fastball for a strike? Most of the time, okay? So let's say that hitting is a test. One of the questions on the test is can you hit a fastball? If you can hit a fastball, you're probably going to pass the test more times than not. All right? So based off of what you see right here, we're going to talk about a fastball. Fastball comes from the pitcher to the catcher. Fastball moves in what kind of line? Straight. Straight line. Okay? Straight line. What's the fastest distance between two points? Pay attention here. Point A, point B. If I line one of you up at A and one of you up at B, and I said tackle each other as fast as you can. All right. Which direction are you probably going to run? Straight. 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 Okay. Nobody's going to run out here and swing it wide. You're going to run straight at each other and hit them. Okay. Same thing here when we hit. Fastest distance between two points from this point to the point of contact is a straight line. Okay. Draw a line. Until anybody finds a faster way to get from A to B than a straight line, that's what we're going to talk about. Okay. Straight lines. If we can understand this ball is moving in a straight line, it's going to help us learn how to move in order to hit this ball. All right, so you see how I'm lined up right here. Okay, pitcher's out here, ball's traveling from the pitcher to the catcher. You can kind of tell how the ball's got a little bit of a downhill tilt. It's kind of going like this. It's not completely flat. Anybody know why? Pitcher's standing on the mound, right? Okay, so he's higher than the catcher. Ball has to travel at a downhill angle, somewhat. All right. So, if we're talking about straight lines, the fastest way for me to get to this ball would be a straight line. What happens so many times as hitters, so many times, how many of y'all know what that part of the bat is? Sweet spot. Sweet spot. How many of y'all are trying to get the sweet spot to the ball? Everybody. Okay. And what happens when we forget about the straight line and we start thinking about sweet spot is we start trying to get our sweet spot to the ball. Okay. If I do it again and try to get my sweet spot to it, what about now? No. Yeah, Yeah, okay. Back here? <laughs> no. No, I miss it. Out here? Early. Early. All right, so now I'm having to be exactly perfect <clears throat> to get my sweet spot to the ball. How many of y'all would say that you're perfect at being on time? Mm -hmm. How many of you say it's hard to be on time? Okay. So don't make hitting harder than it has to be. We've got to get out of thinking about the sweet spot. We've got to start thinking about the straight line. Okay. So now, here we go. I'm lined up with this ball in the middle. This is the front of home plate. All right. And I'm thinking about a straight line here. If you look at me, you see the back of my elbow all the way to the bottom of my hand is somewhat in a straight line. And it's pointed right towards who? The pitcher. Okay. All right. Straight line towards the pitcher. So here I am, if I think about taking my elbow, my hand, my forearm, and driving it towards the pitcher, look what happens to my sweet spot when it starts to come around. Drops. Yeah, but look, is it in line with the ball? No. Huh? No. Let me go in line with the ball. Is it in line with the ball? Yes. Okay. Is it in line with that ball? Yes. Okay, is it in line with that ball? Yes. Boom. So now I can be late, early, or on time, and still hit the ball where? Sweet spot. Sweet spot. How many of y'all are good right now at hitting the ball on the sweet spot when you're early? Sometimes? Yeah? How many of y'all are good when you're late? Sometimes? Okay. But you see, not, not everybody's hand went up. A lot more hands stayed down. <coughs> All right? If you go into hitting, Trying to be perfect, trying to get the sweet spot of the bat to the ball all the time. Hitting's gonna be hard for you because you got to deal with being early and you got to deal with being late all the time. Okay, all the time. So again, I'm gonna stand here. Here I am, thinking about straight lines. 
listen to the parts of my body that I'm talking about when I'm talking about driving. I'm set up, I've got my elbow here, my forearm, and my hand all in a straight line towards where I'm trying to go. Okay, keeping it simple here. And when I get set, all I'm trying to do is drive that line straight towards the pitcher. Okay, y'all heard knob of the ball? Okay, my knob, if the pitcher was throwing me a ball, would it be pointed at the ball coming to me? Where's the ball going to be coming? Out here. So that's pointing kind of that way? Yeah, so I'm knob to the ball. And if I'm knob to the ball, then when my sweet spot comes through, I get contact, contact, contact. Okay. So now you give yourself the opportunity to, even if the pitcher beats you, he throws one and you're late, boom, line drive to right field, to the right field, on the sweet spot, with back to If you're dead on time, probably double over the center fielder's head. Double left center. If you catch that ball out front, guess what happens? What happens when I catch the ball out front on the sweet spot? I get that home run. Okay. You want to hit balls in the air. You want to hit the balls far. You've got to learn to catch the ball out front. Okay. The best way to catch the ball out front on the sweet spot is being consistent with that straight line. And driving past the ball so that we give ourselves the opportunity for us to make contact. Okay. The best opportunity. I'm not a big fan of trying to get my sweet spot to the ball and getting jammed. I mean, I like getting jammed, especially up here in 30 degree weather. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I did that a lot, trying to take my bat down to the ball and being late and getting jammed. Okay. Or being early and hitting that four hopper, boom, right in the ground to the third baseman or the pitcher. All right. How many of y'all know about a Camwood one hand trainer? Perfect. Okay, that's about we're gonna start with the